Let's look at a situation where you'd want to use the machine controller to set up a template to control Easy Drummer or Easy Drummer expansion packs in a more powerful way. You can use this on Micro, Mark II, Machine Mark I, or of course Machine Studio. So Machine obviously controls Machine software very well. But if you didn't know, Machine is also a MIDI controller for anything you want. By simply hitting Shift Channel, you can put Machine into MIDI mode, at which point you can create custom templates for any kind of application you would want. In this case, I've actually made one already for Easy Drummer. So let's actually load up an instance of Easy Drummer. And now for MIDI mode, I have everything color coded, assigned, however I would like. Machine ships with the controller editor, which is a great option of creating your own custom templates. So here we've actually mapped it out, all the pro important parameters I would want. I can even name them, color code them, etc. To enable the MIDI Learn inside of Easy Drummer, all we have to do is come to the mixer section and we can right click and assign MIDI Learn to control every parameter we would need. You can even create multiple pages inside a machine to control different parameters. So once I've mapped out every single parameter, all I have to do is click anywhere, MIDI Learn presets, and save as a new template stored on your computer. So let's actually take a look at creating a template from scratch. We're gonna come in and let's load up the Easy Drummer Hip Hop Kit. And let's go to the control editor. So here we can actually create a new template. And by default, the groups will be mapped chromatically. As you can see, I'm going up and down the keyboard, the piano roll. And we can actually assign each pad a specific note. So we can come in and actually dial in this template however we like. Let's go find a kick drum. I can use the acoustic kit or some of the sampled kicks. Let's look at the details to find out exactly where this is mapped and then assign it in the control editor. Come to assign, note, and you can type it in. Let's find a snare. I like this one, E6. And we'll sign it right here. So from here, now that I have it mapped out, we can start to play it and sequence it inside a machine. And this will actually sequence in keyboard mode. Now the one thing to note is that when we're in MIDI mode, we can't really control machines. So all you have to do is hit shift channel to come out of MIDI mode and back into machine. So from here, let's find a tempo and let's create a pattern. Now all I have to do is hit shift control and I'm controlling. In order to get back into controlling machine, shift, channel button again, and stop. So it's not as immediate as having everything inside a machine, but the power here is that I have multiple pages to assign to different drum hits and different samples to create a really more advanced machine controller template. This is also nice if you're gonna take this live and you actually wanna finger drum out in a performance 
or control other software or hardware.